Queen, I am so excited to be back with you. I hope that you have loved this month's theme, People Matter, because you and I matter so much to God and He cares so much about us. And I'm so excited to be finishing the theme this week. And we're gonna learn something amazing and we're gonna have so much fun. So, are you guys ready? No, I don't think you're ready. Are you really ready? Let's go. <laughs> these facts of the week. Have you guys? I have learned so many new and interesting things that I didn't know before. So are you ready for another one? Now, have you ever gone out late at night for a walk and you've heard this sound? Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, and it's been owls. And owls are a very special bird that come out at night time. But did you know this? That owls cannot move their eyes because we know that owls move their heads all the way around they're very special but they can't move their eyes imagine it's like a staring competition maybe next time you see an owl you should have a staring competition because I I do think though they will win but isn't that amazing that God has made me and you that we can move our eyes and that we can see all the beautiful things that God has created around us and for us so good I love that fact Let's worship together, guys. I'm sure you are so ready to worship God. Why don't you jump to your feet and let's give God all of our praise because He deserves it, doesn't He, guys? Yes, come on, let's lift our voices and lift our hands to the King of Kings. Let's go.
have loved this theme this month called People Matter. Can you guys say that at home with me? People Matter. And that is because God says that about us. We learned on the first week that God created Adam and Eve and that when Jesus came, he created a group of friends called the disciples because people matter so much. God doesn't want us to do life on our own. Now, there's a great story in the Bible and it's all about a few sheep. Have you guys ever been out for a walk or maybe you live near somewhere that has lots of sheep? Well, this is a story all about sheep and how God uses this story to teach us about what he thinks about us and how much we matter to him. Are you guys ready? Okay, we're going to read from Luke 15 verses 3 to 6 and you might want to read this a little bit later and read more about the story. So let's go. It says this, then Jesus told this story. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep but he loses one of them. Then he will leave the other 99 sheep and go out and look for the lost sheep. The man will keep on searching for the lost sheep until he finds it. And when he finds it, the man is so very happy. He puts it on his shoulders and goes home. He calls to his friends and neighbors and says, be happy with me because I have found my lost sheep. And I love this story, guys. It's a way that Jesus is teaching us how he feels about us. Because there were a hundred sheep. Everyone say a hundred sheep. That's a lot, isn't it? That's a lot of sheep to take care of. So, but what happened is that one sheep, could be one, just one went missing. But God told us in this story that he cares so much about just the one that he leaves the 99 that are safe. And he goes after the one sheep which is lost. And this is a story that teaches us that Jesus goes after the one. He goes after me and he goes after you, which means that maybe when you feel sad, when you feel lonely, maybe times when you're not sure if Jesus really cares about you, God is coming after you because he cares so much about you. And I don't know about you, but maybe at the moment you are missing your friends. Maybe you can't go to school at the moment where you live. And maybe you can't do the things that you would like to. And maybe you feel a bit like that sheep today. Maybe you feel a little bit lonely and you can see the other sheep, but maybe you don't feel like you're a part of them. I just feel that God wants to speak to you through this story today and tell you that He is coming after you. He cares about you. He wants to spend time with you. He wants to speak to you. So why don't you use this Kids Online this week as a very special one for you? that maybe you have felt lonely, but God wants to remind you that he cares about you. So we're gonna jump into a prayer time in a little bit, and we're gonna have a memory verse. Why don't you use the word of God today to lift you up and to encourage you that he goes after you, the one he cares about you so much. Does that sound good? Let's go. Faith at home. I think we need a jingle for this. What do you guys think? I think we need an intro song. I think we'll get working on that because it's so important for us to have faith at home, isn't it guys? It's so important to build our faith in this season like that. Come on, Bill. And that's what Kids Online is doing in you, is that it is building you up to have a great faith in God. And I hope it encouraged you today that we learn about the lost sheep and how Jesus always takes care of us. So I had an idea for you this week, and I have done this before when I needed to encourage myself. Now, I want to encourage you, maybe you could write a prayer, you could write a letter, or maybe you could draw a picture to remind you how it makes you feel that Jesus is always with you, that you are never alone. Maybe you want to draw or the Bible verse from today, or maybe a picture of the sheep to remind yourself that he is your shepherd. Why don't you do that and then pop it up, maybe on your bedroom wall, on your door, maybe on your fridge, somewhere at home that reminds you every day that he is always with you. And like every week, why don't you think of a way this week to make somebody feel special? You could write a letter, you could send a picture, maybe with a grown up you could video call a friend and you could just say to them how special they are to you and how much you love them. Why don't you try giving that a go this week and I pray that it really helps you. I love it when we come together to pray. And I love in this month, we have been doing our asks and thank you. Because remember, it is so important to ask God because he wants to take care of you. But it is so important to give God praise, to thank him for what he has done, because he is a good, good father. So 
If you remember from last week, we're going to have our ask come up and we're going to have our thank you come up. And we're first going to have our prayer and that's our ask section. And then we're going to have our thank you, which is our praise. So can you think of today some asks of God that you need to ask of him? Maybe it's for somebody that matters so much to you in your world. Maybe it's for a friend. Maybe it's for a family member. And we're going to pray into those first. Are you guys ready? Okay, I'm going to give you 10 seconds to think about somebody that you want to pray for and something that you want to ask God of and then I will pray for us all together. Okay, so 10 seconds, are you ready? Okay, I'm going to pray for us all together. God, I thank you for every prayer request this morning on Kids Online. God, I thank you for every ask that we are having of you. God, I thank you that you are faithful and I thank you that you care about all the things that we care about, Lord. I thank you, God, that you are working in every life here, God. I thank you that you are working in every family and we ask that you would um, come and help in these situations in Jesus' name. And everyone said? Amen. Okay, now we're going to move on to our thank you. Now this is our praise report. So we're going to think of all the amazing things that God has done this week. And you don't have to think of huge, crazy, big things. You can think of the small things, the detail that God has been in this week for you. So we're going to give you 10 seconds again. And I want you to think about the small or even the big things that God has done for you. Are you ready? Okay, I'm going to give you 10 seconds. Let's go. Awesome. Okay, so this is why we're going to give thanks to what God has already done and what he's going to do because he hasn't finished, right guys? He has got so much more for us. So I'm going to pray for us. Why don't you join in at home? Yeah, God, I want to thank you for everything that you have done for us. I thank you that you have given us a family. I thank you that you have given us a place to sleep at night. God, I thank you that you are with us in lockdown. You are with us when we go to school. You are with us with our families. You are with us in every moment. And I thank you for all the special things that you have done for everybody watching kids online today, God. I pray that you would bless them. I pray that you would be with them and that you would take care of them in Jesus' name. And everyone said... Amen. Awesome. Don't you love our new prayer section? It makes you think, so why don't you for next week? Why don't you come ready? You could even have a piece of paper. You could write some ideas down. And why don't you come join us on Kids Online with your asks and thank yous already prepared so that we can pray together and you could lead prayer at your house. That sounds awesome, right? Great stuff. Let's go. Okay, kids, are you ready? I need your help today. We are going to play a game called Hide and Seek. Because do you remember in the Word today, we heard all about the story in the Bible of the lost sheep. And Jesus cares so much about the one lost sheep. So I've got a little lost sheep on screen with me this morning on Kids Online. Do you guys think you can help me? Okay, so we're going to have our lost sheep come up and I need your help to find him. So when you see him, I need you to point and let me know where he is. Are you ready? Okay, we've got 30 seconds to try and track down the lost sheep. Three, two, one, let's go. Where is he? Can you see him? I'm looking. Oh, he's here. Did you see him? Okay, help me, help me. Where do you think he is? Where is our lost sheep? We need to find him. <gasps> he's down here. Can you see him? Okay, he's off again. Let's see where he is. <gasps> he's above me. Did you find him, guys? Well done. Let's keep going. Let's see where he goes. I wonder if he's got any more friends that are lost. What do you guys think? Should we try to find two lost sheep this time? Are you guys ready at home? Okay, let's go. Let's see if we can see them. Here. And here, we found them guys. Give yourselves a round of applause. Well done, we found the lost sheep. I love our memory verse of the week because it is a time where we get to look into the Bible together and learn something. And it says in the Bible that it is a good thing when we think about the Word of God and we meditate it in our hearts. So, are you ready to learn a verse this week? And it links so well to what we've learned about this week. And it's from Psalm 23, verse one. And it says this, it says, the Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. Amen. 
the Lord is my shepherd. So how we learn in that story that Jesus goes after the sheep, it's a bit like we are the sheep, right? That Jesus is our shepherd and in him, we have everything we need. So maybe today you're lacking some peace. Maybe you're lacking some happiness and some joy. Well, it says in this verse that Jesus has everything you need. So I wanna encourage you to ask him to fill you up with all the things that you need because he is a good God. Amen? Amen. Well guys, what a week we have had together. Now I would love to hear where you are watching from today. We have heard that people are watching from America, from Europe, from England, Scotland, Wales and Ireland, all across the world. And you are so welcome. So make sure that you connect with us and you let us know where you're watching from. You can email us or let us know through the website. We would love to connect with you. But I pray that you have a great week and that you really feel God near to you and that you don't feel alone this week because He is your good shepherd. Amen? Awesome. Have a great week, guys. Bye.